Hello everyone, Space Toyster here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. In the last episode, we handled a side quest in the Dalmasca Wester Sand that dealt with um, why the sandstorms are so violent there. And in this episode, we will be uh, t um, delivering the Veil Blossom Dew to finally, and I mean finally, finish another side quest. Also, uh, on the last episode, I was wrong, actually. Uh, you do get a reward for defeating the Earth Tyrant. Uh, you can go back to Rabinaster and talk to the um, guys who helped you out with getting through the sandstorm. So, yeah, I was wrong about that. Also, I'm going the wrong way. I should have just teleported from Nalvana, but I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah, whatever. Point is, we'll go ahead and deliver that Veil Blossom Dew. Anyway, I'm hoping the last episode turned out okay. I should know for sure before this one goes live. But the last one I had a few interruptions and hiccups just during and as the... Uh, filming, recording, and all that stuff was happening, or almost over. But, like I said, uh, hopefully everything turned out okay, and if not, I'll probably just cry myself to sleep. You know, it wouldn't be that different from most other nights. Anyway, we are here. Is that a boat? Huh, I thought the boat was on the other side. Let's check out what's going on here. This is definitely my dad's boat, but where's my dad? Something bad must have happened. I'm crossing to the north bank to see what's going on. I know how to pilot the boat, and there's no point in waiting around here worrying and Nonsense! Watch you, watching your p father pilot the boat and doing it yourself are two different things. The river's dangerous, boy! But what if my dad's in trouble? After him, there's no one that even knows how to pilot the boat except me. Yes, but even if you make it across the river, who knows what you'll find once you get there. I'm sorry, but it's simply too dangerous. But... My dad. What if he went with Ch I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. He hunted the flowering cactoid for Dantro. He must know how to defend himself. That is true. What do you say, boy? Will you do this for our village? Will you go with what the kid's name is to see what's happening on the North Bank? You just gotta! I'll pilot the boat! What do you say? I think it's Chigiri. The T is probably silent. In which case, why did they even put it there? Thanks! What are we waiting for? Thank you, boy. Look after Chigiri for us. And you, Chigiri, you be careful. The river will swallow the lot of you if you're not. If you're not. At this point, I would probably slaughter Shakespeare if he were alive just for coming up with all this bullshit writing nonsense that makes no sense. But sadly, this isn't Fate Apocrypha, so I don't get the chance. Look! Over there! Are those... Cactoids? They must have attacked the North Bank! What are we gonna do? Well, they're cactoids, so they're probably weak. Wait, there's my dad, and everyone else, too. I don't like the look of this one bit. Seems like they're holding them hostage. But what would cactoids want with hostages? I don't believe it! The cactoids all up and left. Now's our chance to go help my dad. Then we talk to the dad, Ruxel. 
I'm so glad you're all right. We didn't know what had happened to you. Quite a tale, that one. And you've some tales of your own, piloting the boat all by yourself. I knew you'd got the river in your blood. The others said it was too dangerous, but I knew I could handle it. But what about those cactoids? They run off for good, right? We can only hope so. Still, they're a prickly lot. Can't imagine they'd give up that easily. Ha! Huh. Prickly. Whoa, what's that? Oh wait, I think that was the dad talking. Yeah. Well, that's one way to make an entrance. That is the leader of the cactoids. Hey, Prickle Pants, who do you think you are kidnapping my dad? Stay back, Chigiri. They're just trying to find their son. Find their son? You mean, they're related? That's right, they're a cactoid family. The eldest son, Dren, went missing, and they, sent out, they set out to find him. They came to our village along the way. Nothing but bad news, this Dran. He's part of a cactoid clan terrorizing the desert. There's even a bounty on his head. This one here is the matriarch of the family. She's been searching high and low for him. Wants to bring him back home and set him straight. But they couldn't find Dran anywhere in Dalmasca. That's why they needed us. She forced us to guide them in the lands beyond the desert. The Mosferan Highways, the Salika Wood, even the Necrohall of, Necro Hall of Nabutis. I'd get enough hope of ever making it back. And after all that, we still couldn't find him. So they brought us back here. For now. But who knows when they'll drag us off again. So there's a bounty on this strand, huh? You have any idea where he might be? I think that Vaughn does. I don't think he's to the north of the river. We must have looked under every stone between here and Arcadia. As for the south bank... Well, we weren't about to lead the cactoids there and get you and the others mixed up in this, too. So that's why you set the boat adrift. Keep him from making the crossing. I never figured on you coming to rescue me. But there's no time for that now. We'll keep him busy while you search the south bank for Dran. Right, just leave it to us. Let's get going. Yeah, uh, obviously Dran was the flowering cactoid that we hunted a very long time ago. So, let's talk to Dantro's wife, figure out what she did with the flower. I don't understand. Why would the cactoids invade the village? They're usually harmless enough. Their son, you say? Then we must find him. But the desert is huge. Where would we even begin? Wait, if this cactoid's been causing as much trouble as they say, someone may have posted a bill for him. Unless... <gasps> the bill Dantro posted! You hunted that cactoid, didn't you? You don't think. Of course. The cactoid you hunted must have been their son. Hunted and made into medicine. We'll never be able to return him now. What? The flower? Why, I boiled it and threw it away behind the house. Well, wait, the least we can do is give them the flower and let them know that their son passed away. Oh, such a pretty flower, too. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, I knew that was going to happen anyway, but yeah. Still, you've got to be kidding me. Alright, back to, uh, Chigiri. Found the cactoid? What? You didn't. You hunted the other one, but this one looks just like that one. Huh? Well, none of this makes much sense to me, but I guess what I guess we don't have much choice. Huh. His family is waiting. Let's get him over to the north bank. Yeah, I'm Really glad that you don't actually have to search the Esther Sand. 
That was really nice. I don't think you can even get this quest started until after you've hunted the flowering cactoid. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get him back to his family. Come on, Dran. Hey, we found your son for you. Now let my dad go. I just love the Final Fantasy XII cactoids. They're adorable. Hmm, I don't know. You think they're buying it? Look at them go! Guess they're gonna take him in after all. Yeah, they're just so adorable with the way they're constantly dancing and that they have no pupils and they constantly have that dead-eyed stare. Not as adorable as Tomberries from Final Fantasy X, though. Hey! A thousand gil and a pouch of Wormfire Shot. Neat! So, Wormfire Shot is fire ammunition for guns, obviously. And, yeah. If we had come to this camp, uh, which we could have accessed after killing the Earth Tyrant, uh, there would have been some people here, but they all would have been people wondering why there's no boat. It would have gotten sent back over. Alright, so let's go ahead and... I guess we can equip that to Pinello for now, because it is stronger than our current Onion Shot, but at the same time, I want to be able to switch to a uh, non-elemental attack if I need to. Anyway, we're gonna go back across and we're gonna finally finish the other side quests here in the Dalmasca Ester Sand. You found the Veil Blossom Dew? Wonderful! This should flush the poison from the body. Now we have only to wait and hope. Oh crap. I just realized I sold the Great Serpent skin. <sighs> I forgot to hold on to it. You've helped me more than I could have hoped. The Traveler rests now, and I expect a full recovery before long. Yeah. Oh well. Like I said, it's for optional rewards, so I guess it's not that big a deal, but I'm still a little bummed. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to... Let's head to Nalvina. I'll go ahead and make my way to an encampment in the Mosfer and High Waste, and then I'll go ahead and call that an episode. My first short one. I figured I should actually really, really, and I mean really genuinely, uh, take Chugga's advice about uh, making sure each episode is a self-contained story, regardless of the length, so I don't have to hit that half-hour mark. And um, solving those problems and finally moving on with the story seems like as good a place of any as to uh, stop. So the Mosfer and Highways here, there's really not much to it. You got a bunch of these uh, wolves running around and they're a bit... And yeah, they're a bit tough. But not so tough to be inconvenient. Uh, it also has werewolf enemies, a fire elemental, and a bunch of birds in one section. So it's a tough place to grind. If you need to grind for cash at this point, and you really don't need to grind for cash at this point, then I would highly recommend, um, uh, well, I guess you could run around here and then do the Aster Sand, or you can just head back to the Osmone Plain and run around there. It's still good money in the Osmone Plain. Or there's probably another area I'm not thinking about. If you got some of the other monographs, that would change, obviously change it too. Yeah, there's that fire elemental. I'm not gonna bother it unless I have to. But at this point, you can definitely handle it. Just be wary if you have anyone out with an elemental weapon equipped. The fire elemental is 
only vulnerable to the water element. He is going to be immune to every other element, and if you hit him with fire, you heal him. Which reminds me, I should probably change up Pinello's gambits now that I have her equipped with the fire shot. This just seems like so much work. Maybe I should just take it off of her. I think there is a, a rare game, rare game that can show up here. It's gonna be a bigger version of these Wargrins, uh, and I think it shows up if you kill a bunch of them. I don't know the exact specifications. The rare game really don't don't get uh, too much importance until we find them much much later, so don't worry about it too much. keep hearing birds. I think that's from the game, though. But anyway, you can just come down in here, and yeah, this is the camp. So there are a bunch of these thingies right here. They release moisture and cause things to fly up. It's important for getting to a hidden area, but I'll do that later. For now, I'm going to call that an episode, so um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Space Oyster, signing out.